What's up creatives, Seb here with another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add subtitles to your videos in Premiere Pro completely automatically. And this is all possible with Adobe Premiere Pro's latest feature, text-to-speech. So if you're using Premiere Pro, you're gonna be the fastest editor out there when it comes to adding subtitles to your videos. And I'm not even joking, you can literally add subtitles to a 20 minute long video in just five clicks. It's really that easy. It's all integrated within Premiere Pro. This feature has been around in beta for about two months now, and it's finally available worldwide for everyone to use. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can add subtitles to your videos in Premiere Pro in just a few seconds. Now, of course, before we get started, if you are new here, welcome. My name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing, and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content. So if it does sound interesting to you and you haven't subscribed already, then do consider subscribing and smashing the like button if you haven't already. Now that we've gone out of the way, let's head over to the editing desk and let me show you how to add subtitles to your videos in Premiere Pro in just a few seconds. So welcome back to the editing desk. Like I said, this is going to be a really quick Premiere Pro tutorial. So start off by opening up Premiere Pro. Once you have your video ready to export and you want to add your subtitles, there are two ways you can do this. First way is just go to your sequence project right here, right click and then click on auto transcribe sequence and then this box will appear and then you can select your audio track. So if you want to just use audio one for your subtitles, just click on that. But if you want to use both, use mix. You can then choose between 12 different languages, I think. So you've got Spanish, German, French, Japanese, Portuguese, and they're going to be adding more languages along the line. You can also choose to transcribe with your in and out points only. And then you can also opt to recognize different speakers and then you'll easily be able to tell the difference between who's speaking. Now before we click transcribe I'm going to show you the second method to do this. You can just go to your captions panel right here and if you don't have it selected go to your windows workspace, edit workspaces, and then there should be captions here. If it's not in your bar, then you can just look down here and it should be there. You can just drag and drop it into there. Once you see it in the top panels up here, just click on caption and then your workspace should look a little something like this. And then you'll have this text panel opened up right here. Just click on transcribe sequence if you want to automatically add subtitles. And then it's the same thing right here where you can have your mix, your languages. So this video is just a basic intro to this video that you're watching right here. So it's in English and we're just going to use the mix option. Click on transcribe and then it's going to take a few minutes just to automatically transcribe your video. So as you can see, the transcribe has now been done and then you'll have this section right here with all of your text and you can easily edit this if you want to do so, if you see any imperfections in your transcription. So right here, I can see one straight away. So it's all possible of Adobe Premiere Pro, that's wrong. So I said it's all possible with Adobe Premiere Pro's latest feature. So just a little modification that I had to do right there. You can then just proofread your entire text, make sure that it's all okay. And then once you're happy with that, you can either export the text as itself so you can turn that into an article if you wanted to do so but if not you can just do create captions and then you'll have this little pop-up box that opens up so this stuff i keep as default the style we'll explore a little bit later because you actually have to create it and i'll show you how to do that you then choose maximum length of characters so if you only want 30 characters on each line of your subtitle bar then you can modify that right here you can also choose the minimum duration in seconds of how long that will appear and then you can also choose the gap between frames i just put it to zero and then you can choose whether or not you want one line or two lines on your subtitle so i'm going to keep Two, we're going to press create and then you'll see in just a few seconds it will now add subtitles to our video so you can see down here it's now added a new subtitle track and you can see right off the bat that the subtitles aren't the prettiest so all you have to do to fix this is just click on your subtitles right here it will open up the essential graphics panel and then you can modify your subtitles further so if you want to change the font just like that just change it to impact we can also make it a little bit bigger if you want to add a background box we can also do that so if you want to want a black background i'll do that change the opacity to 100 I'll also make the box a little bit bigger, add some round edges, and then if you also want to add a drop shadow, you can also do this here. And then what you want to do once you're happy with your style, you can just go to track style right here, create a new style, and then I'm just going to put YouTube subtitles, press OK, and then you'll see if we click on here, it's now added that to the rest of our subtitle track right here. Now, once again, you can see that there are a few little gaps right here, and we can just modify these really easily by just extending it a little bit more. And if you ever wanted to add any additional text to your subtitles, we can either just zoom into your subtitle timeline right here, you can cut it up, and then it'll add an additional bar right here. So for example, it's copy and pasted this right here, and if I wanna do my extra text, then you can see it's added a new subtitle line just for my extra text right there and you can just customize it as much as you want. Once you're happy with your subtitles and you want to export the video, then all you have to do is press the export button. You no longer have to burn the captions onto your video or do anything special. Just use your favorite preset settings when exporting and the subtitles will be on your video. Now that I've shown you this quick Premiere Pro tutorial, let's finish off the video on the other camera. So that is the fastest way to automatically add subtitles to your videos in Premiere Pro. Be sure to share this video with your other Premiere Pro friends because it's gonna help out a lot of other editors out there. That's all I have for you in this video, so do smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.